Hi, this is Philip, and today I'm going to give you some tips and tricks about uh, how to use the HCO5 Bluetooth module with Arduino. I've been given a pair of HCO5 uh, Bluetooth modules uh, a bit of uh, time ago, and uh, I really like uh, using them, and uh, I would like to give you guys uh, three tips or uh, ways to use it. The first one is uh, basically the code that I already uploaded to my GitHub, so I'm going to have the link in the comments. And uh, what that code do, does is that every time you start your Arduino, it's going to force uh, set uh, the, the mode for either the slave or the master. And uh, the way it does that, it has to power down and then power up and set the, the mode and then force another power down and power up to really reset the mode. So that takes a bit of time, but it works every single time. So the cool thing about that mode uh, is the if you have to switch the Bluetooth uh, modules around and you don't want to have to go and say, this is the master and all that, you can say to the code basically, do it every single time, force the reset, and I'll wait the time that it takes. So that's one way to use it. Another way is to uh, use it, basically, once you have set the mode, the cool thing is that uh, those little guys, they, they remember the last mode. So all you need to do, uh, once you have that done once, is to init and then link through the master. So what you do is you power up the slave and then for the master you just power up and then you call the init command and then the link command and it's going to link to the slave and it goes much much faster. So basically it's the exact same code as the first uh, thing that I just described except you remove or uncomment the part that sets the mode. So you save a bunch of time. So that's really interesting. The last one that I really like is that uh, you can bind the uh, two together. So you can tell the master that uh, it's uh, basically you call the bind command and you give the, the MAC address of the, uh, the slave. And from that point on, the cool thing is that as soon as you power them up, you don't have to do anything. So as soon as they're powered up, the master is looking for the slave and it connects, it creates the connection right away. So basically you just power them up so there's nothing but the power right now and, and they're connected as soon as they have power. And if I disconnect one or the other, as soon as the power is back, uh, they will want to make that connection again. It's actually it's the, the master that triggers it, but the connection is made every single time. It's a little bit like your mouse, you know, you don't have to reinstall your mouse every time you um, you plug it into your computer. So this, this is a very, a very cool little feature. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, go get the code. And if I get uh, more cool stuff, I'll uh, make more videos and blogs about it. Bye guys.